On Overdrive today, we get you an audio-visual delight of the Porsche Cayman GT4 RS and five gorgeous Lamborghini sports cars. Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Sodi. That what a magnificent lineup of cars we have for you today on this show. Now, if you have a soul, you will definitely sit up and take notice. Once a four-liter naturally aspirated flat six Porsche Cayman GT4 RS roars past you, especially post the 9,000 RPM. It's truly a magical sports car. You see, the Cayman sits right at the entry point of Porsche's sports car range, but this particular Cayman. It costs almost double the money of a standard 718 and it also sits at a higher pedestal than the 911. So what gives it those credentials? Let's find out. One glance should tell you that even the silhouette of this car is different than the standard Cayman. The swan neck hinges holding the massive spoiler, the exaggerated splitters at the front and the rear, lightened bodywork, so much so that even the Porsche logo is a decal and not a metal badge to save weight. And to that effect, even the lift function in the adaptive dampers is only for the front end. And then you get bits like the lightweight suspension with racetrack-derived spring rates, a mechanically locking rear differential, and forged wheels that house massive composite brakes. All this gives this Cayman the unique GT4 RS badge. In fact, this is the first time the RS badge sits on a Cayman. And all of that pushes the price of this car close to the 911 GT3, one of the best 911s that you can buy. And then you come to this particular car, which costs almost a crore more. And that's down to all the optional extras, which also includes this 7 lakh rupee shark blue paint job, which is only applied to the visible parts of the chassis or the bodywork to save weight and costs. It also has a 32 lakh rupee YZAC pack. This pack also includes plenty of carbon fibre for the front lid, the spoiler, the trims around the air intakes and the cooling ducts, and the air blades around the windows. More exotic materials continue with the titanium exhaust tips and the rear roll cage. That roll cage though is only for your track days. It cannot be converted into a full roll cage which includes the frontal section. Which means, should you theoretically take this car GT racing, it may not be approved by the racing bodies like the FI GT, for example. The pack also throws in tons of badges, reading Wysak, Porsche and GT4 RS to announce to the world that you have a rather special Cayman. As if that bodywork didn't already do that. But that exaggerated look, those yellow badges, they do turn up the heat. Whether you're driving in the cold conditions of Europe or the hot, steaming conditions of India. Oh, and speaking of heat, this car is powered by what is perhaps the best internal combustion engine the Porsche currently builds, even in today's times of melting ice caps. The 4-litre flat 6. It's an engine with GT3 pedigree and in the RS, it comes mated to the blisteringly quick 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. This combination helps this car sprint from 0 to 100 km an hour in 3.4 seconds and unsurprisingly makes this the fastest production Cayman around the Nürburgring notch life. And it is only 9 seconds slower than the 911 GT3. Compared to the GT3, the more complicated exhaust routing robs 10 horses from this car's arsenal. It neither gets a double wishbone suspension, nor does it have space to incorporate an electronic LSD. Heck, it doesn't even get rear axle steering, but its engine mounting makes up for it. So essentially, what you're getting is the stunning powertrain of a 911 GT3, mid-mounted because this is a Cayman, it's a combination that's a wet dream for a lot of Porsche fans. And then you have this combination in a chassis that's lighter and yet stiffer than the standard Cayman and even the 911 for that matter. The whole car sits 30 millimeters closer to the ground than the standard Cayman. So what you get is a car that handles far, far, far better than most other sports cars in the world, including some of Porsche's own. That 4-litre flat 6 is the creme de la creme of Porsche's internal combustion engines. Naturally aspirated, 
500 PS, 450 Newton meters of torque. All these are brilliant numbers, but what's more important is how much it can rev. 9,000 RPM. So you need this razor sharp handling, not to keep the engine in check, but because this handling is the only thing that can enable you to reach that 9,000 RPM often. Oh, listen to that thing. It's pure bliss. There aren't too many driving modes either. You can choose between normal or sport modes for the suspension and the PDK gearbox, but the engine is always running at full steam. Your concentration, your senses, they get in sync with the mechanicals rather quickly. Your eyes look at the end of the tunnel created by the surroundings. Your palms and fingers are working the steering and the paddles behind it. And your foot is controlling a sonic bliss. It's like poetry in motion. It makes the other sports cars sound like a heavy metal concert in comparison. On your journey from startup to 9000 RPM, you hear this beautiful sonic orchestra. There are the sweet low end trills, then you move to a lathery, smooth mid range. And as you climb up the revs, you get to this high-pitched opera. And that last 1000 RPM, oh my God. It's something else. And unlike many sports cars, what they hear outside is what you hear inside. You can hear the air being sucked in through those beautiful air intakes. You can hear that transmission howl. And if you listen carefully, sometimes you can also hear the walls inside the exhaust flutter. Oh, what a feeling, what a feeling. I have driven many sports cars on these very roads. Porsches, AMGs, Lamborghinis and Ferraris even. But nothing quite comes close to the kind of feeling that this car offers. Well, the Cayman GD4 RS, quite simply is a do-it-all sports car for me. Plenty of power, unbelievable ride and handling, plenty of emotion and that iconic engine. Remember the dialogue from Ford versus Ferrari? 7,000 RPM, the machine becomes weightless. 9,000 RPM. That is where the machine and the man become one. That's a feeling that very few sports cars can give you. And that is why the Cayman GT4 scores so high for me. Porsche isn't limiting the number of GT4 RSs that they will build, but they are certainly limiting the time for which they'll continue building it. And the next gen Cayman is likely to be all electric. So there may not be anything like the GT4 RS after this. It's a collector's item in that sense, and one of the best Porsches that you can buy today. Sports cars tend to shake us up quite a bit. It's the Porsches that seem to have a very special effect on the overdrive team. We'll take a very quick break here on the show, but coming up on the other side, we'll take you through the awe-inspiring generation of Lamborghinis as we join in on an exclusive anniversary celebration.